She come up and now Just don't be afraid of your heart Don't be ashamed It's all the same thing And you're late You're late It's whatever your real life looks like Stay in your lane Come on the dark and don't be ashamed You're late Let's have a conversation On what we think every day It's your late talk show With Coach Trish Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to your lane show with coach Trish Hanna. It is so good to be back in the studio. Before I start my show, I would like to send a happy, happy, happy birthday to a shout out to my sister, my mentor, my friend, Dr. Gandhi Thompson, my girl. She plays an integral part of my support system, Dr. Gandhi. I wish you a happy birthday with blessings and favor and grace all over your life not just your life but your family's life enjoy your day girly your lane talk show was created to empower educate and ed and encourage women of all ages this month we'll be discussing matters about our health and wellness and today we are honing in on our nutritional health and wellness today's topic is entitled you are what you eat mm -hmm. Good nutrition is one of the keys to a healthy life. How many of us are truly intentional about the foods that we eat daily? Don't lie. Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. How many of us are aware of the health risks of the food that we eat, but still allow our cravings and belly to dictate what we eat? I got two hands up. <laughs> I guilty. I guilty bad. Okay? We know the rest. We know we know we ain't supposed to be eating that fast food. Listen, let me tell you something. I, from the time this post, well, even before the post, when I uh, thought about the actual topic about our nutrition, and I started to, from then I was getting convicted. Lord, I talking about this show. I can't be thinking, but no chicken in the bag. Mm. So when I actually saw the flyer, I said, Jesus, and the salad looked so good. I said, I can't get the fry dry from you know who and you know where. Today, <laughs> I have to stay as healthy as I possibly can because my toes I know are going to get mashed today. And for many of you who are listening, I know your toes can get mashed. Your Lane with Coach Trish Hanna, episode 10, is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson, distributed by Lowe's Wholesale, Airborne Freight and Cargo Services, John Shoe Store and Accessories, Family Medicine Center, Unilever, distributed by Asa H. Pritchard Limited, and National Workers Cooperative Credit Union. The summer fun has just begun with Johnson & Johnson. Purchase $15 or more of J&J &J products at Lowe's Pharmacy and enter to win one $1,000 travel voucher, one of six 100 Visa gift cards, or one of two 100 John Bull gift cards. I can need that little thing. <laughs> the promotion ends July 31st. Johnson & Johnson, something for you, me, and the entire family. My predictions of emotions today for this episode are 100% serious aha moments. And I didn't tell you why. Because you're going to get your moments and you're going to get your cons mashed. I promise you. There's a saying that says, when the teacher, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Right? Mm -hmm. So we are ready because we're going to get learned today. They're going to teach us. We have with us in studio. Anyway, let me not say that yet. Let me not say that yet. You can view us on Facebook, Your Lane Life Coaching's page, or Star 106 FM's Facebook page. Or you can prefer, or if you wish to, you can listen to us on channel 976 on cable. I am inviting my audience to feel free to call in at any time throughout the show. Let me share the number with you, 328-8164. That's 328-8164. And let me tell you why you need to write this number down. In here smells divine. That's my little hint. In here smells divine. I'm glad that I only had little portions of my, my food today, what I cooked, because I teeth in somebody food today if y'all don't call in to retrieve these items that were sent here specifically for you all. Woo! All right. So if you if you want to um you can write this number one more time because I'm telling you, you're going to need it. Not just are you going to receive or you have the opportunity to receive 
what is in this building at this very moment, but also some gift certificates and some from very, very healthy restaurants, three of which I am gonna allow my guests to talk about when it's time for her to speak. Add quick and easy flavor to any family meal with no pasta and rice sides, bouillon, and mixes. If you need ideas on some quick and healthy recipes, you can go to www.noor.com and see their list of delicious recipes for your family's next meal. You can find Noor's brands in your favorite food store, Noor, distributed by Asa H. Pritchard. Now, y'all ready for my guest? Woo! My first guest is a nutritionist, okay? His name is Donovan Ingram. Donovan has had a wide span of biological studies beginning at the College of the Bahamas with an Associate of Science degree in biology and chem with chemistry. He continued his studies and obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in biology from Dalhousie University and a Master's of Science in Applied Human Nutrition at Oxford Brookes University. Prior to attending his Master's of Science in Applied Human Nutrition, attaining rather, his Master's of Science in Applied Human Nutrition, Donovan spent four years as a dolphin trainer and it was then that he realized that a large part of nutrition is catalyzed by behavioral changes, which led him to focus his biological skills around behavior changes as it relates to food management and choices. Donovan continues to be exposed to the culinary world through collaborations with his father, executive chef, Don Ingram. From this exposure, food preparation, management, and sanitation are key skills that he leads to his nutrition, and nutrition teachings. Other nutrition skills he uses to assist individuals are meal planning, grocery store visits, and label reading. His overall goal and focus is to create a healthier Bahamas and global society. Welcome, Donovan. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Trish. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for such a warm introduction. Sounds like I should have been in studio. Yes, so you should. Don't let me start. Don't let me start. Because you are at the mercy of an internet service provider that you know I am friends with. So, Donovan, <laughs> you better pray that you and this internet service provider, y'all get it together. We, we can work it out. Don't worry. We can work it out. Y'all should be best friends by now. Right, you can try. You can try. Thank you so much. <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, so in your bio, it says that you help with label reading. Um, explain to us how you do it and what we should be looking for when we read labels on our food packages. All right, Trish, thanks so much for that question. That, that's actually a, a very interesting question. One of the first things I like to teach people when I'm trying to get them to improve their nutrition. When reading a, a nutrition label, they all uh, uh, kind of present it the same way. Ca uh, serving sizes at the top, um, calories at the top, and then it goes through total fats, it has Welcome, Donovan. cholesterol, it has listings of sodium, dietary fiber, carbohydrates, sugars, and then even proteins. The most important thing we should be paying attention to first is always the portion sizes listed at the top of a nutrition label. So that gives us the boundaries as to what we can consume or what is too much with the right portion size. Usually it says either half of a cup, a tablespoon serving, or a full cup, you know? So we, we try not to overconsume that because if you're eating more than the serving size, then everything below the calories, the fats, the sodium, the protein, the, the fiber, is going to be multiplied. The next important thing is to start at the top and work your way downward, not skipping any lines. Uh, one of the uh, best ways of reading a label is using percent daily value. Percent daily value is what is identified through the World Health Organization as the accurate amount in which we should consume based on the nutrient. So if a percent daily value is listed at 5% or less, that's actually considered low. Mm. And a percent daily value of 20% or more is considered high. So we should treat our percent daily value readings on a nutrition label like a traffic light. The 20% or more meaning um, high, which is identified as red, which means stop. Anywhere between 19 to 6% would be yellow on a traffic light, which means, which means caution or slow down. And, mm -hmm. and most definitely, anything less than 5% daily value or less would be gray on a traffic light, which means go, 
you are free all clear to continue on. So reading nutrition label starts with um, knowing the portion size. You work your way downwards, not skipping any line items. If you're looking particularly for sodium, look at that percent daily value. If you're looking for sodium or fats or sugars or protein, again, look at that percent daily value. Anything 20% or more is high, that's red. Anything between 19 and 6, 6% daily value, yellow on the traffic light, which is okay or caution. And then again, 5% or less is green, which means go. Mm. Mm. You got all that turning out a lot. I should have had my pen and my paper with me because writing these ten. Uh huh. Five percent is ten, and one is red. I I have to watch the the, the recording. I have to watch it um, afterwards because that's a lot of information, Donovan. That's a lot. Um, so I I always wanted to know this though. Is there a difference between the nutritional needs from um, that a woman has versus what a man has? So if there is, then explain the difference to me. So there are several nutritional needs, you know, for, for several reasons. Uh, a man is always built different from a female. Men tend to have more muscular structures compared to females. So the calorie allowance for males will always be greater than a female. Um, another thing is certain foods that we consume will affect our hormonal balance. Um, men want foods that triggers their testosterone level or male, male um, hormone levels so that those things are at its highest. And then similarly, females want their hormone levels like estrogen, um, oestrogen, and, and, and cortisone, those kind of things, to be cortisol, to be kind of maintained or elevated. And so men and women should tend to eat differently. Um, mm -hmm. A man is allowed between 2,500 calories per day, whereas a female is allowed 1,500 calories per day. When it comes to alcohol consumption, that also varies for men, men and females. Uh, mm -hmm. Men should have no more than two servings of alcohol per day. And females should limit their alcohol consumption just to one serving of alcohol beverage per day. So there are variations when it comes to nutritional needs between men and, and women. Hold on, let me. I, I want you to repeat this again. How much um, alcohol <laughs> um, consumption should men have per day? Men, men are allowed to have no more than two servings uh, of <laughs> Now y'all know y'all men out there. Okay, let me let me be here. This is the female show. <laughs> we know good and well. Anyway, go ahead. And women should consume no more than one serving of alcohol. We know that ain't happening. That, 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 that. This, this, this is the standard it's a no. by the World Health Organization. Of course, no one really adheres, uh, adheres to it, but it is no. one, the, one of the most important things that we can do to maintain overall health. Um, one of the most important things that will be either low volume of fruit and vegetable consumption, low water consumption and definitely high volumes of alcohol consumption so some very important things to pay attention to so let me let me ask you because in fact somebody just asked this does red wine count i heard that was healthy uh, it, it, it does count and in fact one six ounce glass of red wine is considered one serving size and if it's a male consuming it they allow, they allow two glasses if it's a female they allow one glass per day hmm. so the girls night out is out all right, because if you have a girl's night out, that means you only have one glass, and that ain't happening. All right, that's why you save the calories for Friday. The, okay, so you, I so you just you just <laughs> pack on carrots until Friday, Friday, and then you have your three, four glasses. Is that yeah. how you do it? Well, not, to, know. not to mark any coins here. Um, <laughs> binge drinking is actually frowned upon. Uh, when persons consume three, four up to eight glasses on a Friday, they consume. <laughs> An absence of alcohol through Monday through Thursday, Thanks. that's considered binge drinking. That's actually very detrimental to health. It actually impacts your metabolism, which men nor women want. Uh, we always want a fast, healthy metabolism for hormonal balance, but also so that we can over overcome certain female health issues. Health issues like breast cancer, osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, ovarian cancer, and even depression and anxiety which women experience. Um, in fact, heart disease uh, is prominent among women. Um, it's the second pillar of diseases, heart disease. That's a stroke, a heart attack, or elevated, elevated cholesterol values. Those things are very, very detrimental. So we need to maintain our metabolism. And we should try to adhere as best we can to the World Health Organization recommendations. Donovan, so what you're telling me is, right? i just ask him. Let, let's talk. So if somebody and i'm not going to say who decides to pack on three carrots 
on Monday, two salary sticks on Tuesday, waiting patiently for Friday. And if they continue doing this so that they could make sure that they in the average or the time frame or the consumption level of what they should be doing, and they continue doing this weekly, it's gonna cause or create other ailments within them. Is that what you're saying? Not necessarily, you know, Chris. What, what I am saying is that these regulations are put in place for us to adhere to just so that we, we, we're better protected. In some cases, some of us have, uh, uh, we're predisposed to these diseases at a higher level because of genetics. Um, sometimes we're, we're predisposed to diseases because of lifestyle itself. And so we just want a person to think of the most healthiest form possible. Of course, the, uh, it is sometimes unrealistic to limit our alcohol consumption to one beverage as females or to um, always get five to six servings of fruits and veg per day. Those things are going to always be difficult. But the recommendations are there for us to be guided by so that we can see a light at the end of the tunnel, so that we're not always held back by chains and barriers when it comes to our nutrition, and so that we have the right tools necessary to see success. Um, overall, women should have a balanced diet, you know, eating three carrots a day, two celeries tomorrow. Those things are beneficial, but a variety in diet is always best. Yeah. Um, again, women, um, when it comes to women's health, in terms of hormone, hormone balance, um, um, and regulating the menstruation system, um, maybe increasing the chances of pregnancy or a successful pregnancy, one to regularly pregnant, or even the risk of heart disease. Things that women should consume regularly, uh, um, whole grains, green leafy veg, eggs, a uh, very important part of a female diet, salmon and any fatty fish, and like sardines as well, tuna as well, um, avocados, um, um, and also very importantly, which a lot of Bahamians don't consume as much so more, uh, legumes and nuts, things like lentils, peas, um, beans. Um, nuts such as peanuts, walnuts, almonds uh, are very, very helpful. Chia seeds, flax seeds, very, very helpful for the female diet because they provide certain things like iron, which is very necessary for females, uh, particularly through the menstrual cycle, necessary during pregnancy, and even some, and even some very beneficial after, after pregnancy, one mm -hmm. having given birth to a, a baby. Um, other things that are very beneficial is folate, Necessary again through the menstrual cycle, necessary through um, a pregnancy period, um, whether pre, during, or post postpartum, and even B vitamins, B1, B2, B6, B12, very, very important for females to have on a regular basis. And so if, if, if women are not getting iron, folate, and these B vitamins on a daily basis, it is recommended that they get a supplement on a regular basis, have a supplement every day. But of course, the best from all these nutrients will always come from directly from food sources. Right. Sorry, that was a bit long-winded. No, no, that's fine. Because you actually, you covered most of the questions I have for you today. <laughs> okay. But I want to know, um, you list so many things that are beneficial for us as women. Is there a certain amount for each span of our life or, or, or each of our lifespans that maybe at a teenage year, this is our teenage years, we're supposed to be eating this um, in our 20s, we're supposed to be eating more of this, 30s, down up to menopause. Um, is there like um, a difference in the amount of nutrition or consumption for certain uh, minerals and vitamins for us? Yeah, I mean, these things kind of, a tweak throughout our lifetime, especially for females going from um, an infant to a teenager to a young adult to um, um, the elderly or middle age and then el elderly. Our, our food, um, our preferences for food will always change. Um, when we are babies or infants, um, it is at that point we want to feed them the most, um, the most of everything. Get them comfortable with food, textures, colors, and tastes. Um, at t the teenager age, is when they start to eat a little bit more. They um, become a bit more picky eaters sometimes as well. Um, they have their preferences and they're gonna kind of break from that. Uh, as a young adult, um, we are forced by life, you know, when we are busy scheduled, whether um, a newly married couple, a first time mom, uh, um, a female starting a career for the first time. And the, the, the food choices become, um, I guess, a bit more improper because it's always rushed sometimes unorganized because of the lifestyle in which they live. 
And then when we get to the elderly, the taste becomes a major factor. Um, there's a lack of um, taste in foods. And so our nutrient intake will always vary based on our desire for certain foods. However, mm -hmm. the needs for nut nutrients or uh, food intake will always stay the same. We will need the same nutrients in terms of micronutrients and macronutrients. Macronutrients being carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, lean protein, high fiber carbohydrates, and then also um, 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 start, non starchy or uh, um, high fiber sources, is what I should say. Okay? So we, we will need that all through our lifestyle. In fact, whole grains is something we need from an infant straight up until the elderly. Grain leafy veg is something we'll need from an infant straight up until you become an elderly. Um, fatty fish like salmon, uh, uh, mackerel, those things will be needed from infancy straight up until the end of life. Um, why? It's because all of these foods, these, these um, valuable nutrients, even the home, are very protective against things like osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and even cancer. So we need to start eating healthy from an infant age. It makes it easier to adapt throughout, throughout our entire lifetime if we are eating healthy from the onset of early life so that when we get to the late stages of life, our habits are already set and our food choices are already predicted. Donovan, what did your lecturers teach you about when we as women have PMS? What did they tell you? You should tell us when we go going through those PMS stages when all we want is chocolate, you know, all we want is snack food, junk food, something we want sweet. something sweet. What did they tell you to tell us? We ain't listen, but just just tell us. Well, well, actually, in my in my research, because you know, I, I don't know everything when it comes to women's health. I can't think of everything mm -hmm. on the top of my head. So mm -hmm. if, when I'm coming on the show, I had to do some research. I had to go back to some lecture notes and review some um, um, nutrients in terms of overall female health. And in my research today, I discovered, uh, again, or reassured myself that B12 vitamin is actually very effective for the menstrual cycle and also very effective for, for PMS. So the better our B12 intake is on a daily basis, the females, then there is a lowered response of PMS in the, in the digestive system. And also, B12 also helps to improve overall metabolism. So not only are you improving your mood and, and risk factors for depression and, and, and anxiety, but at the same time, B12 will help to slim down your waistline and also lessen your risk factors for chronic disease. So we, I think when women are PMSing, we, they are allowed to, to have a PMS moment. You know, you guys yes. are, are, are the mother earth of, the, of nature. You create mankind itself. And so you are allowed to have that moment, but if you find that moment becomes a bit too overbearing for you or your partner, then in fact, check your B12 levels, uh, make sure that you're getting proper supplements. And if you're not getting supplements, foods that are highest in B12 are eggs, milk, yogurt, salmon, chicken, and even tofu. Very effective at improving B12 levels. So try to get at least one or two of these items into your diet on a daily basis. So you say B12 slim, slim and keeps the waist, keeps the waist slim mm -hmm. and trim. Mm -hmm. I need to know that. that. Right. Say that again. That's right. So, so not only okay. does B12, but uh -huh. green leafy veg. You know, green leafy veg is a component, has all these components that we spoke about today, our iron, our folate, our B12, our B6. So we need to have more um, green leafy veg into our diet so we help with our mood, um, regulate our hormone, but at the same time to maintain a positive metabolism. And that positive metabolism will make us all very slow. Awesome. I, I, if you walk the streets, simple day, at least seven out of 10 women, you notice have a little bulge, a little bulge, something just they are bloating, if I may say, you know, and I know that there are numerous, there are lots of reasons and factors to that, but let's right. talk about the nutritional um factors like just some of the things and even alcohol because i know that sometimes alcohol can cause you know a little bulge there but what can we do but first of all why does that happen um based so, on what type of foods that that cause it because not just women if you look you can see some kids have a little belly as well to yeah, be yeah. honest yeah 
I mean, it, it could be several factors, Trish, to be honest with you. It's not just limited to nutrition, I'll be honest. Uh, when we talk about nutrition, we, we're talking about uh, uh, these kids and these females, are they eating five to six servings of fruit and veg per day, which is recommended. That's something that we should do every day. Um, uh, also, nutritionally, are they drinking um, a minimum eight to ten glasses of water every day? You know, uh, are they eating lean protein? Are they eating high fiber? But it stems beyond the nutrition, Trish. It also takes into consideration, are, are these individuals getting sufficient amount of sleep? Six to eight hours of sleep is recommended. Um, how, how is their lifestyle? Are they, um, are they in a positive environment constantly and mentally, you know? Because um, depression and anxiety plays a big role in terms of weight factors as well. So it's a holistic approach when understanding why someone overweight. It's not just one aspect. It's not just one item of nutrition, like food edge intake or water consumption. It's the whole picture. It's the fruit bed, it's the water consumption, lack of alcohol consumption, um, improvement in sleep, and then also being in a positive mental state are all factors that people need to know about. People need to know about when it comes to um, improving the overall lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I noticed that some are not overweight, you know. You have some slim and trim like me, but then they have a little belly. So you a little scared to ask how far along they are. Someone did that to me before, you know, Donovan. Someone did that to me before. They tell me congratulations. All right? Congratulations. Um, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't happen, you know. In fact, you can be slim but fat. You know, there are slim fat individuals who are slender, but um, they have um, distended stomachs, you know. Maybe they have a bit bit more mammary glands or thicker arms and legs and than necessary. And that's still the same practice. Lifestyle still plays a big role, whether you're slim fat or overweight, whether obese or morbidly obese as well. Absolutely. And and um I know we were we are limited on time, but just before we go into our first break, I wanted to know if you could share with us some of the um ailments or diseases that unhealthy foods may cause for instance our typical bahamian diet you know let's mash some corns but we want to mash some corns in a good way our sunday meal our plate and our lunch meals go into the fast food places what are some of these things that are on our plates or the things that we eat and what are the risk fast factors of consumption Trisha Young and Goyce, me get no problems for these behemoths. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you uh, being honest, you uh, we're, 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 we're teaching them, and I'm then they're going to make their ultimate decisions. I'm not going to get into what's bad on the Bahamian diet plate, on a Sunday diet plate. But what I should say is what should be on the plate, Trish, and I think that's the most important thing. When we visualize our Sunday dinner, our lunchtime <laughs> meals, our breakfast, we need to ensure that half the plate is vegetables. If it's a sandwich, it needs to be twice as much vegetables as there is bread or as there is protein. If there's a salad, it needs to be more solid vegetables than there's protein and dressing. If it is Sunday dinner, it needs to be vegetables. It can be broccoli and carrots. It can be a garden salad. It can be a asparagus. It can be bok choy. It can be Brussels sprouts. It just needs to be something vegetable-based as half of the plate. Another 25% of the plate needs to be high fiber sources. So maybe some white rice with some peas, white rice with beans, white rice with corn, or whole grain rice, or basmati rice with some beans and corn. And then the last 25% of the plate should always be lean protein sources. That's our salmons, our fish, any forms of fish. Once, once not fried, once baked or grilled or broiled, or um, chicken breast or, or turkey breast. And in some cases, some forms of steak can be very healthy. Some forms of pork can also be very healthy. But obviously, the preparation deteriorates the way in which foods are consumed yeah. and the health for which they pose as well, right? So again, let's not worry so much about what behemoths are putting on their plate in terms of the Bahamian diet, but the things that they're lacking in their diet, making sure that half the plate is fruits and veg, making sure the other 25 is high fiber carbohydrates, and the last 25% of our plate is lean protein sources. And that's what we call a balanced meal structure. 
understanding portion size is, a, is another story, it's another conversation. Mm -hmm. And so we can get very deep into this, but fruits and vegetables, and if anything else that you take away from this conversation today, fruits and vegetables should be consumed at every meal time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Another thing that we're not consuming enough of is herbal teas, green teas, white teas, um, chamomile tea, peppermint tea, um, e even black tea, you know? We should be consuming tea more often. No sugar, no salt, no, no, no cream, or if sugar and cream has to be added, very little of those things should be added to the tea as well, okay? So let's get back to the old lifestyle of eating from the ground, from field to fork, and also consuming teas at every meal time as part of our digestion, and it will also always help us go a long way when it comes to our overall health. Thank you, Donovan. I see you playing it safe. I, I don't know. I got to find someone with <laughs> someone who got more, more stuff to come to the plate because you got to, you got to, listen, the reason why this show was created, Donovan, is so that we could be real. You ain't want to tell them why and what happened if you eat too much macaroni and peas and rice and potato salad and coleslaw. That's fine. But thank you so much anyway. Thank you. Donovan, before you go, since you're not in the studio and you miss your salmon, so call me later on this week. We'll set up another lunch date for you. <laughs> yeah, you heard that? You heard that, Donovan? I see his, I could see him on the screen, but I can't hear. Donovan, did you hear what Kelsha said? His mic is muted. Your mic is muted. I'm sorry. There you go. You heard what, you heard what I said? No, I missed that, Kishla, sorry. Okay, I said I brought you some salmon with asparagus and kale and everything for dinner tonight, but you missed it. So give me a call later this week. We'll arrange it for later on. Now, Kishla, I want no problems now. In this morning, I'm coming, coming by. <laughs> no problems at all, sir. Uh, well, I know where to find you. But yes, sir. Thank you so much, okay? No problem. Donovan, thank you so much for joining us. We got, um, I mean, I don't know about you, but I have to watch the replay because it was so much information. And um, I know that you have another um, engagement. And so I just want to thank you for taking the time out to be with us today. And um, we got to get you back. But when we bring you back, you have to be able to have some stuff. I can't use the word that I really want to use. <laughs> so you could talk to us properly because we women and we like to hear these things. We need to hear it. And it ain't nothing better than when we hearing it from a professional person that we should not be eating too much macaroni. You ain't want to say it, I'll say it. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Donovan. All right, I'll bring you up next time, I promise. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you too. All right, okay. no problem. Bye -bye. Take care. Let's take a break. Yeah, he was to nice. my Facebook audience, thank you so much for joining us. And for those, um, I let me give you a little heads up before we go back on not on air. Get your pen and paper so you can bring some stuff. We have a lot of giveaways today from our chef. She's so generous. Oh my gosh, she's an angel sent. I can't wait to introduce her and engage with her. And, um, get your pen and paper. Let me get the number again for you. Up to 20 the number is 328-8164. That's 328-8164 so that you can win something today from our chef. Double shoulders cost this woman expecting twins of Gandred. She's expecting twins of Gandred. Call us at 377-0450 or visit us on Facebook at Ship Airborne for more information. Regular visits to the gynecologist should be a part of every woman's health care regime. At Family Medicine Center, our services are to meet the unique health care needs of women in every phase of life. Whether an annual checkup, obstetric care for a difficult pregnancy, or you have a specific concern, we provide expert health care in a friendly, comfortable setting. We're located in the Rivington Center Building, Blake Road. Or give us a call, 702-9310. Family Medicine Center, where our family takes care of yours. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always going collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We couple women, men, children, the whole family together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service. Your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store, shop with us online. 
www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carry small over appliances. So come on in today at John's, where we put fashion at your feet. J and J, you got what you need for everyday skin care. For that smooth skin, like Neutrogena, a being okay and clear. We got this to me that's gonna keep your brand fresh and clean. The love that you love, I'm gonna tell you what you need. Johnson and Johnson, that's for us, that's gonna take the pain away. Johnson and Johnson, that kind of drill, that time is gonna make it. Johnson and Johnson, new down, I'm moody and advising. Baby that Jay, Jay. I need a baby that Jay, Jay. Everyone that Jay, Jay. Something few, something for me, the entire family. You play the oh, divine. You, you play the divine. Her, um, Rachel, yeah? Okay. Which Wi-Fi do you connect to? Guardian Star. Yeah? Guardian oh, Gas? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no so creative. No space. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what makes it very so easy. Welcome back. We have with us our next guest who is actually in studio, Chef Keshla Smith Clark. Hello. Hi. Chef Keshla Smith. And I might hold on because I heard Donovan pronounced your name as Keshla, but I say Keshla. It's what is it right. It's Keshla. Uh, you know, there's many variations. I, I just leave people alone okay. now. Yeah, you just be like, hey, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So <laughs> let me just read your bio so, so people know how who I have in my studio because this ain't just someone I just pick up on uh, from the side of the street. Okay. I am actually among a celebrity right now. All right. So Chef Keshla Smith Clark is a Bahamian celebrity, private chef. Yacht chef, certified but the businesswoman, entrepreneur, and most importantly, a mother and wife. Chef Smith Clark was educated in London, where she obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree in restaurant management and culinary arts. She has worked and lived in South America, where she went on to develop a chicken restaurant franchise. We have talked about that. She was also involved in restaurant consulting for small hotels and cafes. While traveling the world, she fell in love with the passion for cooking, utilizing local ingredients wherever she was to infuse into her art and always ensuring that there was a healthy flair to her cuisine. Welcome, Chef. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. I tell you, I'm among excellent. I'm among a celebrity. I need you to teach us. We are here. We are students. We are ready to be taught. Now, Donovan said some things that I saw where you were actually agreeing, because obviously there are some things that you've known being a, a chef that believes in healthy lifestyle and nutrition as well. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that he said to you that you would want to reiterate? But before we reiterate, let's go back to the beginning. I was raised as a Seventh-day Adventist, so okay. all my life I pretty much eat what we grew in the yard, yes. and my grandmother made veggie patties and everything from scratch. Mm -hmm. So I know about grinding the corn and then we sift it mm -hmm. in, in the yard to make grits. Mm -hmm. From scratch. From scratch. Um, so I grew up in Fox Hill. Oh. As a Fox Hill <laughs> gal, true and true. Fox Andre. Hill and Long Island. Hey. Fox Hill and Long Island. Okay. So we, we spent our summers shelling peas, planting vegetables, planting fruits. So the story began with the hell, whole health thing from there. My grandmother lived to almost 90. Wow. My great grandmother was, I think, 97, 98. And their whole thing was they eat what they grew. Right. Um, so that's where the, the basis of the whole story and, and being a kid and raised in that way started. 
I guess when I decided to be a chef, decided to be a chef and then I had to eat meat, that was a different story, mm -hmm. you know, but the basis, the ground was already planted. Right. Um, Donovan said a lot and a lot of it has to do with our portion size. Donovan did the whole scientific background. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a how the food can actually heal us mm -hmm. and actually work. Mm -hmm. um, us as Bahamians, like you say, we pile up our plate. A lot of it is not that we eat bad food, but our combinations together mm. makes it bad. Our portion size make it bad. Sunday meal, we need two meat. We needed the plate overflowing. We're about to bust. We, we have a work. We say nigger right is afterwards, mm -hmm. you know, right. but we should not feel that full. Mm. We should be able to move. We should be able to do something, eat some of it, do something else, come back. But in our nature, it's very, it's, I don't know, it's a, what you call it, stigma, sort of. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for us to get out of it, but I, it's not impossible for us to get out of it. Um, so I think for us, we need to understand that a lot of the food we eat is not all bad, right. but the, the way we do it is the bad. Portions. The portions, mm -hmm. the combination, rice, potato salad, uh, macaroni, that's oh, three cool. carbs in one plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say I, I'm I'm innocent. I eat healthy all the time. I'm not gonna say that because, mm -hmm. like I say, I'm 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 I'm, I'm over the 45 mark now. So you know, sweet girl, gotta watch what she eat, and you know, other things happening in your body. Yeah. So I can't have that all the time. Yes. And if I have it, I have to a little here, a little yes. here. A little, I have to spread it out. Um, I think for us, that's 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 pretty. That's a big big challenge. But it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, I think, when you were speaking earlier this week, I were talking about in the Caribbean. How are we the fattest nation in the Caribbean? Yeah. How? And we have, we don't even have five hundred thousand people. We can't be the fat. So that says a lot. Yeah. We die for a lot from breast cancer, and a lot of time it has to do with it, what, what we eat, but not necessarily. My mom, my, my mom died from breast cancer, but she was a size three. Stress. Go ahead. Okay, Stress so is another. That's Stress like, is another not level, managing stress. not managing stress, not dealing with it properly. It doesn't always have, like Donovan said, the food is dictated, but a lot of things are going on in our bodies. Each individual is different. different. You have to find what works for your yeah. body. Mm -hmm. And going back to our portion size, I brought some food to show the portion size mm -hmm. of what your plate should look like mm -hmm. when you're eating a meal. I know everybody's like, oh, chef, got to be crazy. Chef don't understand how expensive food is. Yes, I do. I, I live in a house with two other people. I have a toddler uh, who eats and is very picky. Mm -hmm. I so that. I buy, buy the apple. Oh, mommy, I don't like that. Throw it in the garbage. I was like, no, you better go get that apple. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Look <laughs> you need, at me. You need to go get that apple. <laughs> but uh, it is... We already know it's expensive to buy food here, yes. but being a woman, we are the second leader in our home. We are the fixer of everything, whether it's manuals, medicine, med we have to be the super persona, the yeah. super woman. And I'm not saying that we're going to all be super woman, but we have to be. But we have to take care of ourselves first in order for us to take care of our families. I mean, I can imagine if you were trying to run a business, you're a mom, you're a wife, you're you're everything. And, you know, I mean, our husbands are awesome men. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But, you know, sometimes they'd be like, you know, you want to forget. Hey, 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 hey. In order for us to be able to take all of that, we ha our bodies have to be right. We have to eat the right foods. Absolutely. And Donovan spoke about it, the greens, the vegetables. Half of your plate needs to be greens and vegetables. Yeah. It's just how it is. And we put on weight way faster than a man. My mm -hmm. husband, if anybody don't know, is body spy clock, Mr. TikToking. My husband is now preparing for a competition. So we was on vacation. Mm -hmm. He ate everything in sight. Oh, gee. I mm -hmm. was there oh. measuring oh. my cereal, measuring my egg, measuring my bacon. We've been back two weeks and he's dropped 15 pounds. Like, just like that. I only dropped one pound. Oh. <laughs> So our bodies are definitely yeah, different. Clearly. And my husband still eat nine meals a day because he pump really? a night. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He yeah. eats. Yeah. I can't eat now. I can barely eat three meals a day, but I lose one pound since we come back. And I'm like, what the it's hell? It's harder for us, though. It's, it's harder for, it's us. Harder for yeah. us, you yeah. know, and we, we try to set the schedule. We go into the gym. By the time you deal with the baby, by the time you deal with the business, by the time you right. deal with the you... So let's talk about food. And as moms and as women, let's make our life a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So 
Like we talked about some giveaways coming up. Yes, we're going to do a giveaway. But before I get to what I want to do is I want to make sure that you are prepared and settled and you can actually put the food, food out. out. So okay. Be after our break. No problem. But I want to ask this question. Women are resorting to foods um, in the stores that, that can only suit their bud budget. Right. And you know how it is in the stores. The most expensive meals are normally the, the healthiest, healthiest meals. meals. Yep. And so they have to resort in some cases to ramen noodles, um, what you call the um the hot dog things, the <laughs> the what you call the weenie sausages. The weenie sausages. Weenie sausage. mm -hmm. And then you have the you know, whatever the, the things that don't have no brand. Yep. You know, they mm -hmm. pick those things up because it's on sale. You get and two and for three dollars yep. and all these other things. And mm -hmm. so they they get whatever they could afford. Correct. Whatever they can afford. But obviously we see that it's normally in those situations that you find these women um, with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, heart disease, as Donovan alluded, and all these different things that are happening. Not saying that it's only for those who cannot afford the healthier meals because you do have some persons who have the money, but they choose to, to, you to know, do something to, to else. Do something else wise. Yes. Um, so how can we help those women? Or what advice can you give to someone if they're going in the food store? Let's say they have a hundred dollars. You only you buy but two things. Um, but how? <laughs> what advice can you give them? Well, first of all, this is be this is my give you some of my secrets. Uh -huh. When I shop for my home with the man that eats nine meals a day, ah, uh, <laughs> I start off at the farmers market. Okay. On a Saturday. On the side of the road, you're going to find those vendors are cheaper than the food store. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, I can pick up kale, lettuce. Shout out to Tom at Bluefield Farms. I order my lettuce. The farm is all the way out airborne past Life Key. I get delivery to my home twice a week. Wow. So Bluefield Farms does lettuce, cucumbers, tomatoes of all types, colors, and sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, eggplants, zucchinis, uh, fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. So we eat a lot of greens in my house, so I get delivery. Mm -hmm. And I just write my check or I pay my bill online, mm -hmm. call it a day. Mm -hmm. What Tom doesn't have, I find at a farmer's market. Farmer's market, you'll find Is fish. On Gladstone Road right. on Saturdays. Okay, yeah. um, you'll find fish, um, Sinclair Farms on, 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 on Cowpen oh, as well. Mm -hmm. Sinclair has herbs, peas, beans, uh, fresh coconut. Mm -hmm. um, Hit up Chick Chani Farms, my girl Chavar and, and Aaron mm -hmm. do an awesome jobs. They do a pop up at Bonavance. Mm -hmm. Check out the local products. You would find that they would be better quality mm -hmm. and a good price compared to going in the food store. Mm -hmm. As much local as I possibly can buy, I buy. Mm -hmm. um, eggs, there's a, um, what his name is, uh, Gibson off um, Soldier Road. He has the egg farm, $5 a dozen, mm -hmm. not local grown eggs. So, it, you have to do some investigation. Yeah. Bulk buying. What I can't buy at a farmer's market, I chip in with my sisters, my cousins, my aunt. Hey, I need chicken breast. Let's split a 40-pound case of chicken breast. Mm -hmm. My husband eating chicken breast twice a day, 40 pounds I could use by my own self. Right. But anyhow, <laughs> but for those who doesn't eat like throw that. Throw in shade, puppy. Throw in shade. shade. Boy, Go bodies ahead. by cock, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so 40 pounds for me would work, but that, that for somebody else that could last a month, that could last yes. two months. So you find, you get together with your family members and you bulk buy. Yeah. Not all of us are going to have the means to go pay, I think, four, five something in the food store mm -hmm. when I could buy a case for $2.72. That's a big difference. Um, you're going to find that um, you do that with everything, detergent, whatever you use yes. in your home. Yes. You you try to sure. make it work. You share it up yeah. as much as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Um Certain factors of us shopping we can't change. Um, you just have to ask yourself, what could I afford? Right. I always tell people there's two things you could do in life. You either can pay the undertaker or you can pay the doctor. Okay. Which one which one it gonna be? Which one? Because one? last time I checked, doctor's bills way more expensive than the, the, the undertaker. Mm -hmm. But you have to decide you want to live. You yeah. have to decide you want better for yourself. Absolutely. You have to decide I'm gonna put the right things in my body. Absolutely. Because it's going to heal me. It's going to make me live longer. I right? just see your children, your grandchildren. I, I have one kid. I want to see my grandchildren. You're going ahead, man. You're going ahead. <laughs> You're going ahead. I didn't get there yet. Yeah, that's actually one of the things that I wanted to talk about, too. And, of course, I'm glad that you said that. But it's so true. And I guess I could put in a little plug there. You want to be able to make the decisions that 
can benefit not just you but your entire family mm -hmm. you want to see your great grandchildren okay you may not have much cheat in your mouth but you want to be able to give them a little kiss on the side of uh -huh. that cheek to say look i still see you i'm still here you understand what i'm saying yep. but if you keep on going to the fast food places asking for fried dry with extra mayonnaise ketchup and hot but guess sauce, what fried dry is not bad if it's oven fried okay. there's ways i'm going to tell you some ways uh, to get your your same t fast food takeout but uh -huh. doing it a little different Ooh, I, ooh. Okay? okay so we're going to talk about that when we talk about the okay. meals and how okay. we cooked it and how mm -hmm. we prepared it mm -hmm. i like fry dry too but i oven fry i air fry air fry that's the thing get yourself an air, air fryer. fryer you have to okay As air, come and walk in the house put on dinner go clean go put on a load of clothes go go feed the cat and the dog and then i come back and check it okay Okay, that's it right there. You ain't gotta be toiling in front of the no. stove, and you can't, especially if you're frying it, because you gotta stay there and sure, don't burn. Mind. You know. <laughs> so look at that. You done giving tips and hints. So I'm wondering now, and then another thing I want to know is, I wonder if I should ask you this now, or we wait till we talk. But how can we meal prep for the week? Is that something that you want to discuss now? Because let's wait till we do the food because it's food? actually prepped already. I'll right. show you that. Oh, okay, yeah. So and I'll give you tips uh -huh. on where to go to get the prices that I get so we can make it easier for Woo! everybody. I love it. Tony, <laughs> take your, get your notes, get your pen and your paper. Let's go. Let's take a break. On the other side of the break, you should already have your pen. And you should have your paper. And for those who want to see what she is doing, you can log on to Star 106 FM's Facebook page, or you can log on to your lane life coaching page to view the demonstration that she has for us today. And we, I think she has three different meals that she wants to give away. And so please tune in. And write the numbers down. But hold number. on, this is what we're gonna do quickly. Mm -hmm. The meals I'm gonna give to my studio, you and, and Tony. Yeah. But the but the the the, the the vouchers for food they could could redeem cool. at these different places. I'm gonna do right. the giveaways. Right. And my husband just gave me another one, so we have five now. Oh my goodness. So we have five. So good. we're gonna give you some fresh food. It's gonna be healthy, it's gonna taste good, and all you have to do is place your order. Chef Gay and give you the info to contact me and we'll have it ready for you to pack. Someone said, let's go, I'm ready. <laughs> and the next person said, me too. <laughs> so the number is 328-8164, 328-8164. We'll see you after the break. I give you to your prep. Let me get you going. Come on right back. You no want problem. some water? Oh, you I get, yeah, more water. Yeah, my, my husband gave me on uh, just water. <laughs> Let me set this up once. Okay. I'll wait All for right. you when we come back, yeah. Tony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Come and come and come and dad. Yes, he yeah. did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, use this in your camera. Okay. So I'll just tilt it down then. Mm -hmm. And I'll let me see if I can push this out of the way a little bit. Some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. to see that as you explain. Mm -hmm. I want to see it. I'm going to go over there to Kesha when she explains those. Okay. 
you should see a gastroenterologist at Family Medicine Center. We work alongside some of the most experienced and qualified gastroenterologists in the Bahamas, specializing in the care of adults and children. We're located at Rivington Center, Blake Road. Call 702-931 or to schedule a consultation today. Family Medicine Center, where our family takes care of you. Welcome back. Just before our break, we were speaking with Chef Keshler in reference to the various portions that we should have as not just Bahamians, but women in general, because of course this is our show and what, you know, our meals mean, you know, as far as what should be on the plate with um, our vegetables, our fruits, etc. cetera. Uh, we also spoke about how our meals does not have to be limited to, you know, just the vegetables and fruits because you could have your peas and rice, but it comes with portions, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Just it's about portions here. Mm -hmm. So for those who are dieting, woohoo, you got a little something. I don't know what bodies by Clark would tell them because he may have something else to say. I can't wait to have him on because <laughs> um, we want to talk about weight loss too at some point. But even when it comes to those who may be trying to lose weight, you do have some people who are. Um, still afraid to eat those particular things and portions because of lack of self-control. Yeah. I actually know someone who is going to get, um, oh, what's the name of it? It's called... Gastric oh, surgery? Yeah, some side of surgery. Gastric myself. sleep, gastroid. Yes, yes. Okay. So something with something to do with the gastric something. Yeah. Um, and that's because she literally said she's tried it all. Right. She has tried it all. She's tried the dieting. She's tried the small portions. She said... That normally when she eats, um, when she goes on a diet, she'll say, okay, you did well this week, so let me just um, treat myself to something. Then she'll yeah. go and get ice cream, and then after that, yeah. she says it goes down the drain. So she's actually traveling to go get that done. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm trying to figure out, this this only applies to those who can actually handle it, correct? Who could actually afford it. And who could afford it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's 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 not a cheap process. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, have a family member that did it, the recovery time, is about complete healing is almost two years. There's certain things you can't do for months. So, I mean, if you have that type of time, sure. But guess what? That still isn't a guaranteed fix because I've known people that put still had the surgery and still put weight back on. Mm -hmm. So it's not a guaranteed fix. It still goes back down to portion size because with that surgery, your stomach is cut in half. Yeah. Okay? Gastric There's bypass. Pass, That's right. It. That's You're it. bypassing a portion yeah. of the stomach. So with that, you're bypassing, let's say, I think it's the size of a golf ball. Golf ball. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, the amount you can eat is generally restricted. But there's times when you would overeat and still eat the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Then what? So it still sits in your stomach. Wow. So you still put you put that on, so you, yeah, you still put on the weight. Yeah. So it still has to be a balance, and you have to figure out how that balance works for you. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk up. We're going to... Let's go. Do, do the camera. Do the I'm camera. Gonna over to you. Right. We're going to hang it down. Everybody can see? I can see Tony. So, just gonna get my gloves on so we can touch and I can explain. So generally, the average woman should eat three meals a day. Mm -hmm. um, carbs, we, we tend to say carbs is the devil. Carbs is not the devil. Portion size is the devil, mm -hmm. okay? So we're gonna start off with to me, a person looking for balance, I did three meals. One of these meals is actually what I cooked for Sunday dinner today. And it was all about balance. Now, my husband, who was a bodybuilder, would do straight jasmine rice, uh, uh, but quite a bit, 12 to 14 ounces of protein. We as women can't eat that. We should be doing between five and six ounces of protein 
veggies should be at least half a plate, like Donovan said. Mm -hmm. Veggies, greens, or the fruit. Or sometimes I do a smoothie and then eat a smaller portion of food mm -hmm. just, to, just to balance it off a little bit. So let's say I've had breakfast mm -hmm. and these are three meals. I don't have to have a fourth meal. I could probably replace one of these with a smoothie, but I'm just going to show you a little bit about balancing. Mm -hmm. So I had eggs and bacon for breakfast and coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay? Coffee. I'm off coffee, so I, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm in withdrawals right now. You're trying. You're I'm trying. trying. Okay. I, I haven't had it for five. Well, it depends. Yeah. Um, I, uh, apparently, according to my doctor, on Monday, I'm off a of coffee for a year. I'm off. So, and I needed that coffee for that buzz, that yes. pickup. So then, like Donovan said, I started taking B12 because I needed something to help with energy. Yeah. But I'm getting from the coffee, so the yeah, job. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that after this. We, we want to talk about coffee because coffee is something that we have basically every single day. I don't know if but, Tony has it. Yeah, I have it. But guess what? We, if you didn't know what I found on Monday, okay, let's talk about women our bodies. Mm -hmm. So I had my only kid at forty. Mm -hmm. Okay. So during pregnancy, I had a bunch of acid reflux. They put me on Nexium because they said I couldn't take anything stronger because I was carrying my daughter. Right. My daughter came like two months early, plenty of complications through the whole pregnancy. Oh, after you have the baby, Miss Cloud, the acid reflux has stopped. Mm -hmm. The baby's are past seven. The acid reflux has not stopped. Mm. So I went to see a specialist. Come to find out when we're pregnant, the baby, when it grows, moves our stomach over our diaphragm yes, sometimes yes. after you have the baby your stomach should go back down mine never went back down so caffeine from coffee i don't drink sodas generally but if i drink it with rum i'll have a soda mm -hmm. so i can't have sodas now yeah, either yeah so the coffee with the mm -hmm. soda wounds but just your, your stomach now being up in your chest causes the acid in your in yeah. your chest because of pregnancy so either I decide to not eat certain things and let them gradually work the stomach back down in place or I have surgery. Mm -hmm. So I chose to not eat certain things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, our body is such, oh. Okay, so I had breakfast. Yes. And now I'm gonna show you a little bit. Let me see if I can bring the camera over it. Oops, uh -oh. sorry, Tony, help me. It's, it's okay. It's yeah, okay. So I have a five ounce of chicken breast. Mm -hmm. All I did was seasoned, lightly grilled. Mm -hmm. I have my steamed broccoli. This looks so good. I mm -hmm. have five. I have four ounces of sweet potato with just olive oil and garlic and salt. That's it. Mm -hmm. All I did was to give a little bit of moisture. I put some balsamic vinegar over the top. So mm -hmm. you have the salty, you have the sweet, you have the savory all in one meal. Mm -hmm. So it's about creating that balance, making your meal as attractive as possible. Yes. This plate cost me three dollars and 47 cents to make explain that please okay <laughs> so because i'm trying to figure three dollars what i could get a pack of gum for three dollars and 47 cents at the food store and um if that and that's okay. the one with like five in it go ahead so i took the chicken breast and i cut the chicken breast in three because the chicken breasts were huge yes okay i took this was quarter of a sweet potato the sweet potato was this big I broke it down into three. This is quarter of the sweet potato. Okay. I still, I got a full head of broccoli. This is five ounces of broccoli. So I have more broccoli for another two, another three time. meals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. $3.47. That's amazing. Okay. That's amazing. And that's a full meal right there. That's you don't a need full anything meal. else. You, you don't, don't need, need nothing no... else. Water. 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 <laughs> Some tea. Some green tea. How about that? <laughs> So today was my husband requested curry chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have three ounces of jasmine rice. I made some Haitian pickles. I love spicy. Mm -hmm. I have seven ounces of meat and I have one piece of plantain. Put it down a little bit. Tony, let me see this properly. Okay. And that's a meal. This is a meal. I can't eat all of this in one sitting. Yeah, that's a lot of meat, too. That's a lot of yeah. meat. But now, remember now, the meat has bone, so the bone has some weight to it. Yeah, so we're taking it. the bone off. So you have to keep that in mind as well. But we only have three ounces of rice. What's the the three ounces of rice, man? I'm a rice girl. <laughs> no. I, jasmine guess what? rice also. And jasmine. I love jasmine rice. But yeah. here's the thing. I'd rather eat rice than meat, you know. I'm not a meat person like that. If I do, if it's anything, it'll but be like... Keep in mind, mm -hmm. jasmine rice has the niacin that you need. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you still can't over-portion. So you would eat this now. If you want rice later on in the day, fine. But you mm -hmm. can't have six to 12 ounces and a pound of rice mm -hmm. in one sitting. That, that's not going to work. Oh, chef, 
I need my plate overflowing with rice. Oh. You're trying to give yourself a heart attack. Oh, Lord. And then they like the rice with all the grease coming off the rice. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, yeah. My, no, come on. Just, I, okay, so I am not. I am. I am livid <laughs> because right, listen, like I said, I don't really need the meat. I could use the gravy from the meat and put, put it on, on the rice. rice. And just to clear my conscience, I'll try to do like bean and rice so I could feel a little good to say I had little no, lentils on I my cook, meal. I cook coconut green be, uh, bean and rice today too. Mm -hmm. But I cooked that because you know some friends were coming over mm -hmm. later, so yeah, we did a, that. A chef. Um, Someone said, you can't tell a Bahamian man that. Meaning you can't tell them, don't put no rice or too much rice on the plate or don't put no gravy on the plate. Well, sweetie, like. sweetie, I love my husband. I want him to live until we're 100. <laughs> so you got to make up your mind if he can live to 100 or he can die early. That's now, true. if you will be, if you're like my husband who eats a pound of rice for breakfast with scrambled eggs and bacon because he needs that to go and pump weight. he's doing something wrong. He's doing, and, I, yeah. and if the, that person is doing that, sure. Yeah. But then for lunch, he'll just have meat and veggies mm -hmm. or he'll do a protein shake. So he's not going to have rice, rice, rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to make some choices in our lives. And I love my Bahamian men, don't get me wrong. But some of them doing this stuff really bad. That's true. That I, true. I, I try to say it nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really bad. Yeah. You know, because you know. some of them look young and young in age and oh, Jesus. Anyhow. We ain't going there. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Let's go. So now we've had our meals. <laughs> We're on our dinner. And for dinner, we have salmon. So some people are going to say, Chef, I can't afford salmon. So you're going to go to Bahamas International Food and you're going to ask for Scott or Jason and you're going to tell them Chef sent you. Oh. And this is why. At Bahamas International Food, I can buy a whole side of salmon for with fat for $32.70. Oh. That side of salmon gives me 10 pieces. 10 five-ounce pieces. Watch the replay, guys. 10 five-ounce pieces. So let's say I'm a family of three like mine. Mm -hmm. My daughter loves salmon, mm -hmm. loves fish. Mm -hmm. So I got a, she probably won't eat a five-ounce. My husband probably eat 12. Mm -hmm. But, you know. <laughs> we got to bring him, Tony. We got to bring him. <laughs> we got to bring him back. That's my guy in the evening. Let's what? go. <laughs> so you have 10 pieces you take off the skin yeah i usually season it with different season i do a curry seasoning i do olive oil and garlic i do a pesto season i wrap them individually store them in ziploc bags so when i'm ready to cook i just pull out one or two mm. so for 32 dollars, i got 10 pieces of salmon quinoa right mm -hmm. quinoa quinoa on average is between uh, fifteen fifty to eighteen dollars for two pounds. Mm -hmm. You can go to uh, any major Seneville food store. Mm -hmm. You can get a pound for probably twelve dollars. A pound. Don't forget, quinoa is like rice. Quinoa doubles in size. Mm -hmm. So a, a natural serving per person is two to two. 2.5 to 3 ounces by the time the water and I season my water I put salt I put olive oil I put garlic mm -hmm. I put fresh herbs so your quinoa absorbs that flavor mm -hmm. when you cook and here we have 3.5 ounces of quinoa you know I've never cooked quinoa before oh no, yeah I'm afraid that the kids won't eat it I didn't like it because I it was really well, it depends good. on where you then again it depends on who cooked it yeah, yeah. so but you have you have to keep experimenting and getting yeah. it and yeah. and and, yeah. and try it uh, on my own, I usually hide it in her meatballs. Okay. My kid's picky. She loves homemade meatballs. Mm -hmm. So I'll grind, cook the quinoa, grind it up. I put all the bits. She don't want to see the onions and sweet pepper. No, no, no. So I blend all of it. I put it in the blender and added it to her and I make it make balls. I then Thank stick it in the oven. Okay. Yeah. Tony, let me tell you something. When I, I did tuna and grits this morning. Mm -hmm. My daughter will take her time. She's four. And she will pick, pick, um, pick out every onion, mm -hmm. every sweet pepper uh, because you need I to like blend tomatoes it. in it too and she'll pick it out and then she'll eat the tuna and grits like that you need to blend it That's add serious. some cilantro and garlic with it too they don't what? know they wouldn't know you have to learn how to hide the hide the things that they don't like i need less oh see somebody else said the same thing i said i need lessons let me tell you something because <laughs> you know what i have to use um well, you want to be strong, right? If yeah. you want to be strong, you have to eat this. Because yeah. that's what my aunt said to me when I, one time when I was picking up my onions, I was about her same age. Well, you, if you want to eat the onions, you got to be strong. That don't work with Kelly. That don't work. I just have the high takes. You know, I have the, you know? Mm -hmm. So we got our salmon. And all I did was take, you know, when you're cooking, you have the little butts of tomatoes. Yes. The butts, and that's just what this is. All I did was chop some butts of onions. 
peppers, whatever I found in the fridge, and I mixed a little bit of lemon and olive oil, and I put it over the top. This looks so good. And that was it. And now you have your four sprigs of asparagus. Yes. But that asparagus is your greens for your for your meal to portion balance meal. Yeah. to balance the meal. Mm -hmm. So we always have to think in balance. How would how are we going to eat? How are we going to achieve? Not every day you're going to have chicken breast and salmon. Mm -hmm. I think yesterday we had tuna sandwiches in my house because we were like, okay, we want tuna. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I had tuna and salad because I'm off. I do, I'm not doing the bread right now. Mm -hmm. This one pound thing in two weeks. Get my <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I has many two sandwiches, mm -hmm. but anyhow. <laughs> But we have to find that balance. Yeah. Everybody's body is different. different. I am now, no, I know now how my body works, mm -hmm. you know, going to change in life and having all kinds of other issues. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I got to, you know, I got to balance everything. Yeah. So for those persons that could afford meal prep, do meal prep. The average person can't. Mm -hmm. So you have to take these simple pointers. How do I take, let's say you have the salmon mm -hmm. and you didn't cook all. You could make a salmon salad instead of tuna yes. salad. Yes. You can make a sandwich. You could make a wrap. You could buy a pack of wrap or the food store for five twenty-five. They yes. have twelve wraps. You pack in lunch go. for the week. Yes, yes. You well, taking that? Um, go ahead. Ground turkey. Ground turkey is pretty pricey right mm -hmm. now. Such as ground beef. If there's a shortage in beef and chicken mm -hmm. around the world because mm -hmm. of what's happening in Russia, but you can use ground turkey, like you said, you get that lean, lean protein without all that fat. Mm -hmm. Or you could check out our friends at Premium Foods off of Glasson Road. They do a, I think it's a. 9010 mm -hmm. certified Angus ground beef and only less than 10% fat. You can buy five pounds, four pounds, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's really, really good, nice and tasty, and you don't have all that grease floating up when you cook it. Mm -hmm. um, and then most of us, we need to wash it off. But some of us, oh, we just add the sauce, oh, it has flavor. But let's think of our heart, let's think of our bodies, let's think of our stomach, trying to digest that, just to digest pasta, mm -hmm. digest everything else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think portioning. Meal prep is definitely the way to go. I'm not saying it's going to be every day, but at least make an effort to try. Mm -hmm. Probably substitution one meal with a nice smoothie with a vegan protein or a vanilla protein, have some flavor. Mm -hmm. You get the kale, you get the veggies, you get the banana, you get the watermelon. So you get your fruit and veggies in that meal, and then your other two meals or three meals will be actual food. But food that's portioned out, that's tasty, that looks attractive. Remember, we eat with our eyes, yeah. so your food has to look attractive in order for you to eat it. I'm glad that you said that because that also applies to with, with our children. You know, they it eat has with their the, eyes. Yep. So I know some of the things that I do, similar to what you said, that you hide the stuff in. I hide their fruits in their pancakes yep. and stuff like that so that they can eat it yep. um, thoroughly. But what other things do you think that we can do for the kids, like as far as snacking is concerned? Because uh, I ain't going to lie to you, Kashla, um, every day in for school they would have either honestly a cookie has to be there or a chip has to be there but i try mm -hmm. not to do too many too much chips mm -hmm. in their bag but they would have a, they have to have a fruit every single day sometimes it's eaten and sometimes it comes back home right all right um i try to put like for the for my because i have three kids the middle child loves peanuts so i try to put peanuts in there the unsalted one so that it helps you know with mm -hmm. her meals and stuff but they still like the fruit to roll up. So I try not to do that too much, but they still like it. They like the um, fruit snacks. Nah, fruit snack is awful. I heard Stop the dying. dentist told me that. Yes. Uh, doc, shout out Dr. Nadia Davis. She's our family dentist and my daughter dentist. Anybody looking for a good kids dentist? She's awesome. Um, Chef so Kesha calling off all these people. Listen, the people who she call, y'all please call me so you can put some ads on the show. Joe, yes. yes. <laughs> That's fine. As well. uh, um, so she told me about fruit snacks, yeah. fruit snacks. So yeah. I stopped buying it. Yeah. I had a little bit of drama for a day or two mm -hmm. at home. But she got over it. She got over it. Okay. So we don't buy fruit snacks anymore. Mm -hmm. So the deal is you want a chip, you have to eat a fruit. Okay. So you and do she, give a chip, but it's, not as frequent, but you give not, us something. Yeah, she okay. has a fruit, she buys, she likes apples, strawberries, watermelon, and grapes. So those okay. are always in our house. Um, the other day, she said, oh, could I have a smoothie? I see daddy have a smoothie. I said, okay. Well, she, have likes smoothie. she likes smoothies. She's like, mommy, um, don't make it like daddy owned dough. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I can just put the fruit and some ice. So I made it almost like a daiquiri. Mm -hmm. And she sat there, watched TV and drank it. And she was fine. You didn't put any honey or anything? No. Nope. Just the natural? My kid don't do anything cow. From She came off a of breast, nothing cow. She drinks almond milk. So <laughs> I... Oh, yeah, my own little red. No, my own red. <laughs> this last one, she don't eat fruits. She only eats raisins. That's it. Raisins. Oh, my own no, she doesn't eat grapes, but she eats raisins. That, yeah. 
Yeah. No she sauce. She leaves the banana pancakes, but not the banana. No sauce. Cadillac wants olive oil or butter on her pa pasta. No sauce. No cheese. My own eats the sandwiches without. She don't want cheese. She don't want any of the condiments. You know, the ketchup and the hot dogs have to be clean if she has hot dogs. Nothing Same thing here. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Okay. It's, I, thought it's... I, was, I thought I had the wet one. No. Oh, okay. our, our kids are a little different. And I, I think it has a lot to what we, when they're young, what, mm -hmm. we, what we introduce them to. Yeah. My kid wants peppermint tea, but peppermint tea from peppermint leaf. Oh. Oh, she's particular. She's particular. Okay. And right. that brown sugar honey, she mm -hmm. would do. It mm -hmm. can't be nothing else. Nothing else. No. Okay. You win. All right. So now, <laughs> now let, let's talk about um, the giveaways that you have. Right. So we we got to think. Uh, Tony got to help us there with these questions or what we're gonna do for this giveaway. Mm -hmm. uh, Nadia, yeah, one on one, anytime, anytime. Just call. Um, <laughs> so uh, what was it that you have? And okay. Who's it? Who's it uh, okay. Who's so. It? We have quite a bit. Everybody, uh, I want you to know who's watching, follow the Workspace Cafe, Keto Cafe, Body by Clark, and NASA Ghost Kitchen. So Keto Cafe sells predominantly, well, actually all keto, keto. foods. Mm -hmm. Everything made from scratch, from desserts. You can't even tell the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, but they use monk fruit, they use coconut flour, they use almond flour, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. If I bring you a keto crack conk, you'd swear you've been to somebody else, somewhere uh, else to get crack conk. Where are they located? Look how I'm putting it. <laughs> they, they, they give them giveaways. They do giveaways. So we can, we can include them in there, Tony. We so can get them. first, uh -huh. I'm going to give somebody a $20 food voucher uh -huh. to the Keto Cafe. So this is predominantly what's happening now. The Keto Cafe, the Workspace Cafe are all located in one big building. Okay. They are off of Third Street, off Robertson Road. Mm -hmm. You can find them on Craven mm -hmm. or or go for this mm -hmm. both of them and it's in the event horizon building in mm -hmm. in the event horizon they do airbnbs in the front mm -hmm. but there's a, it's a restaurant set up in the back tables chairs outdoor seating mm -hmm. so you could come redeem your price sit down on an umbrella enjoy lunch in the, in the cool breeze and everything is there drinks everything every have homemade lemonades that type of stuff ooh, ooh, okay ooh. lemonade with the ginger lemonade with the ginger lemonade with fresh watermelon fresh pineapple passion fruits in season now so all of their stuff yes all yeah yes. oh, right to any tree. Yeah, <laughs> Boys. <laughs> so we're going to give away two vouchers, mm -hmm. one for Keto Cafe and Workspace Cafe. You guys think of the question to mm -hmm. give it away. So two. Let's make it easy then. Yeah. Let's make it last day. Call a one and two. So one person can have two. Let's no. do one person have one um, yeah. cash and one. The other person has one. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. Okay. So the number to call. Man, I want. Let me give me the number. Let me call for myself. <laughs> oh, guys, my voice. Hello. Am I the first caller? <laughs> um, let's go to the number three two eight eight one six four. If you see me go in the back there, three two eight eight one six four. Three two eight eight one six four. Call now. You'll be the first or the second caller, and you get to win the twenty dollar gift voucher to Keto Cafe yeah, and Workspace Cafe. Okay. Okay. Here's what I found online. Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right. So now, Tony, remember you said because we want the yeah. Facebook audience the hair. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So, so how do we do that? So we gotta go we gotta go to the live and then okay. they gotta they can see where they are. Okay. Okay, all right, okay. Answer. Hello and welcome to your lane talk show. How may I help you today? I can't answer it. Right. What did you do? Go, go ahead. Uh, first He's the first first of all. <laughs> I know how this woman gonna act. How I have a male caller in first. And when it falls, come on, girls, let's go. Girls, you can't have a male calling a female talk show and winning up your prizes. It's wrong. What's your name? 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 Can I get your name, sir? Oh, uh, I'm in Japan. I didn't hear that. I can't. We didn't hear you. Well, friend, he's breaking up. You're breaking up, sir. Now, now, I want you to get this this prize. Say it again but for we me. I hear your name. Wilfred. Wilfred. Ramming. Wilfred Ramming. 
Junior. Yeah. Okay. The whole government name. Because yeah. <laughs> he won this prize. He won this prize. I want to thank you, first of all, for calling. Don't mm -hmm. mind us joking around. It is a female show, but we do allow, especially next week. Please tune in next week. I'll tell you about that after the, um, at the end of the show. But we do allow males to call in and they can receive prizes. So don't take. Try again, um, Nadia. Don't. Um, <laughs> I hope you didn't take offense to me, you know, talking about it. <laughs> you are welcome to receive. Okay, good, good. Okay. All right. So how are they going to. Wilford, you're going to give me a call uh, probably after the show, 557 8063. Um, and then we'll set it up where you can redeem your prize this week. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so listening. much. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Okay. okay. All right. So let's Welcome go. Someone you. say line busy. All right. So let's try to... talking to Wilfred. Huh? <laughs> Wilfred, you got to come off my phone now so the females can call. All right. <laughs> okay. So we have another caller. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to your lane talk show. Hello. Hello. This is. Nadia for oh Nadia, congratulations! You're calling number two. <laughs> Here, trying to deal with the baby. I'm like, Holy Spirit, make it happen. I know you can. I know you can, Jesus. <laughs> congratulations, Nadia. Nadia. Nadia Forbes. So Nadia. Okay, so you're gonna see. give me a call uh, probably after the show. Five five seven eight zero six three. You want me to repeat? Mm-hmm. 557-8063. And we arrange for you to claim your prize this week. My Thank pleasure. You. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Okay. Listen, this, this is just incredible. I love it. I love that chef. She's not just coming here with a beautiful face. <laughs> she's not just coming here with lots and loads of information, but she's coming to give back. How beautiful is that? That is just phenomenal. Um, so chef, oh, okay. So chef, you, you spoke to us about meal prepping. You spoke to us about having mm -hmm. to um, purchase things in bulk yes. with your family, which yes. is awesome. So this is this can actually help us. Mm -hmm. But there's a question that I want to ask. What, what happens when you purchase, when you um, cook your meals, let's say on a Sunday, mm -hmm. um, how many days should you store your food to last for that week because i i remember reading something about you know the meats you can't have in the fridge no longer than three days or four days and um, yes XYZ. that is correct i personally don't agree with prepping all your meals on a sunday mm -hmm. now i don't agree because one the cooking process is different for each meat each meat each meat item and protein one more two Fridge, you have to keep in mind people are in and out of the fridge so that temperature is not staying consistent right i believe in um you can check out either keto cafe they do they do keto meal prep mm -hmm. works by does a basic and a keto variation also paleo uh diabetic meal prep so i believe in they stagnate their deliveries and the meal prep is delivered to you you don't even have to come out of your house or work mm -hmm. so monday there's a delivery monday there's a delivery tuesday there's a delivery friday mm -hmm. your food is made fresh one day in the fridge i could deal with Three and four days, I'll be a little iffy, little iffy about that. Um, you know, we wonder why we have diarrhea. Our stomachs are upset. Um, keep in mind, every meat item that you cook is cooked a different way. Right. A sauce could completely ruin a meal. A veg could completely ruin the meal by the time we let out. And then keep in mind the nutritional values, therefore gone after so much days in, st in storage. Right. So you want to keep your meal prep as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. These, like people say... Uh, <clears throat> These took me less than 15 minutes to do. Now, that's me who's an experienced chef for almost 30 years. Right. You may take an hour, mm -hmm. an hour and a half, but keep in mind your budget, your goal, your portion size, and that would help you to speed along a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. I would say Sunday, do for Monday and Tuesday. Right. Tuesday, do for Wednesday and Thursday. And then Thursday evening, probably Friday morning, do for Friday. Okay. You may take a little break on the weekend, eat your salad, may eat out, but try to keep consistent to your goal, right. consistent to what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But purchasing meal prep, like I said, everybody can't afford it. Yeah. So I'm here to give you some tips on it. If you're doing it at home, what you need to do, how to keep it vibrant, yeah. how to keep it colorful. Yeah. I'm not going to get bored because, you know, every day I go home, like, oh, Lord, but I cook in the day. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, when I get home after a long day, don't let me have a, a client at night. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I need to get home, cook something something for these two. Yeah. And he's up in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
let's take a break because I want to know what we could possibly do in 15 minutes. You I can't wait to hear it. Let's take a break. <laughs> Good day at One Friend and Cargo Services. How may I help you today? Hey, listen, I just say I'm with you all month. Yes, sir. How may I help you, sir? Okay, okay so congratulations to nice Wilfred and Nadia. Nadia, Nadia well, yes, for their um, winning oh, items. I am so sorry I couldn't catch running out and coming back in in time because I could have done that. How many more giveaways do we have? Two more. Or one more. Up to 20% off your shipping. Kesha, how many more giveaways? Two. Two more. Okay. You don't know. So you get back to get five minutes. Of course, I got to do my job. No, no, no. Definitely not. Let me get No. I've never been so excited about the next week's show, Tony. I don't know what to do with myself. Mm -hmm. And I just thought about it at the last minute. What? Um, gonna have a neurologist on. And a neurologist. Yes, a urologist. Dr. Ben Tony. No, I'm not. I'm using Dr. Pillow at another time. Mm -hmm. But this particular doctor, he wrote a book. I can't remember exactly the title. Something like 106 myths about sex. Oh. Okay. So we got we got a little. How many are left? Today, this could be I I said, sir, so you better come. And that's that's her all about it. We want from if we can't get 106 or whatever amount, we can get at least five or ten. Yeah. Because we need to know. All right. And guess what? Flipping the script because obviously it depends. It's a women's show, but he's going to talk about different things about men and from their hair follicles to all because you know, Bahamian men and um, they think they need no one to talk to them, and you know, but that. only that. Because we, they have spouses like us who care and concern right. about their health yes. and well being. We want to flip the script and say, We're having here so that we can. And guess what? I'm giving you guys who are listening a um, little heads up because I'm going to talk about this again when we get on air. But giving them heads up on. Heads up? Giving us women the opportunity to learn more about our men. Man. Yeah. And that was done at the lab. That was not a part of it. If you ever talk about uh, relationships and, that's coming. and counseling, Harrison Thompson. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. And his, 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 uh, his father. Yes. But that, that's going to happen in October. October and November, strictly relationships from divorce. Yeah, because a lot of I'm people. To not even that. I think we start off. We start off getting married for the wrong reasons. Somebody sell them one fairy tale or one dream. A man you know what? Because I know a lot, a lot. Who say look? You got especially in the church. You got a man because. Welcome back. Tony, don't give me a chance to dance and with the intro <laughs> man. My God, he's trying to run me in 728. I see why he's running me. Guess what? We have two more giveaways. So if you can call us, we can get this to you. The number is 328-8164, 328-8164. The first and the second caller, if you can call in, those meal vouchers are yours. So as we wait on those callers, listen to me. Let me just talk to you a little bit. I always have an opportunity to talk to my audience. And as discussed today, we should be mindful of our eating choices. All right. Choosing to eat unhealthy meals is not does have an impact on the way that we function as women, whether you are a parent, whether you are a wife, whatever role you play in society. If you decide to eat unhealthy, it's not going to just affect you, but affect your loved ones. Because mm -hmm. why? The time that you should have been using to go running behind them and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren, stuff, stuff, you can't do it because you have to take your diabetes pills and you have to take your high blood pressure pills and all these different things. But you can't do what you want to do effectively or efficiently because you are this because of the choices that you make today yep yeah so the number again the number again is 328-8164 328-8164 all right and so another thing that i wanted to say is that in doing so in making those those decisions um it also affects our finances yep 
it affects our finances because the monies that you could have spent for doing something else, for instance, someone who's, who's saving up for retirement, okay? That's a perfect example. By the time you hit 60 or so, 65, 70, and you're thinking you're using this for some vacation or some um, momentous occasion, mm -hmm. you have to use that, especially if you don't have insurance, you have to go and deal with your health. Yep. The decisions that you make today, ladies and gentlemen who are listening, can affect what happens to you tomorrow. So do like me, because it took me a flyer to really get it together. And such a beautiful flyer, by the way. It took me a flyer to say, you know what? I really have to. It took me having to prepare the show to say, look, I had a choice for my fry dry. My fry dry from a restaurant. And I didn't do that. I didn't need it. I decided to eat a salad instead. So we are wrapping up, but I want Keshla to make a final point before we leave. And I want to tell you guys about what's happening next week. Any final points before you leave? I think we, as Bahamians, we just have to think, yes, it may take a few minutes, a little bit of time. Or oh, chef, I don't have the time to cook. I don't have the time. Okay, if you don't have the time to cook, then you need to call Keto Cafe and Workspace Cafe. <laughs> if you have the time to cook, I would suggest you go to the farmer's market, do your shopping, try to share in bulk visit the places that I mentioned with the meats and, and try to see how best you can live your best life by eating healthy. This whole process of, we have to make a choice. Like, like she said, you either can pay the doctor or you can pay the undertaker. That's, that's basically the way it is. And health insurance is expensive. Eating healthy could be expensive, but there's some tricks I've, I've given you to help you ease on into it. Try to get the whole family involved. It makes it like easier rather than cooking two or three different meals. You cook one meal and probably just do a slight variation for yourself to watch your portion size. Portion size, Donovan mentioned the, the 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 plate, half should be fruits and grains. Then you have your proteins. Keep that in mind. And I think everything else will be okay. Everything else is going to be okay. And listen, don't depend on your children to take care of you when you get older just because the decisions that you're making today because they have their own lives. Yes. All right? I have to mention that. And I want to challenge each and every one of you to choose healthy alternatives today. And I also want to add, this is very important, don't wait until you're too hungry to go choose something to eat. And don't wait and don't wait till you're hungry to go in the food store to purchase your items. Okay. Try to eat first and go in the store with a grocery list so yeah. you know what you have. And if you have, if you need someone to talk to or you wish to share your experience, you can email me at coach Trish at your lane life coaching.com. If you need help with coaching in this area, you can go to my website, www yourlanelifecoaching.com. Today's show is brought to you by Johnson & Johnson, distributed by Lowe's Wholesale, Airborne Freight and Cargo Services, John Shoe Store and Accessories, Family Medicine Center, National Workers Cooperative Credit Union, and Unilever, distributed by Asa H. Pritchard. Thank you, Donovan and Chef Cashler, for enlightening and convicting us about the benefits of eating nutritionist meals and how to prepare them. Next week, we are going to flip the script, as I was telling Cashler off of the air. We're going to have a urologist on board to help us understand how to take care of our spouse's mental and physical health. Listen, we will discuss the male's anatomy from the top of their head straight down to their feet everything <laughs> everything all right this doctor wrote a book entitled 161 sexual myths you want to tune in thanks to my wonderful producer tony williams and thanks everyone for tuning in my facebook listeners thank you so much for joining us have a blessed blessed evening adios <laughs>